and welcome. I will use this opportunity to tell you guys that I will be streaming the VIP demo on the 25th. And of course the open demo on February 1st. And the start time for the VIP demo is 11 a.m. CT. And the timing on the open demo is not confirmed yet. So let's have some fun and get this started. The first thing we'll get started on is that we'll get some more Ranger gameplay this coming Thursday. And that's according to Ben Irving who made a poll about which javelin they were going to show next. It was close, but the ranger won. Personally, I will be using the ranger as my main javelin. My second javelin will be storm. I really like the Iron Man-esque feeling of the ranger, and the storm has some awesome abilities. And their live streaming will start 3pm CT this Thursday on January 17th. And this will mean more gameplay for us, and uh, to be honest, who doesn't want that? There's also been some questions about the different speeds of the javelins, and we have an answer. That's from Irving himself. All the javelins will have the same speed, but they will have different handling. That is, so all the players can stick together, and that way no one gets left behind, just because they're too slow. And personally, I think that is great, because if everyone have different speeds on the javelins, it will be boring, for example, to be the Colossus. And I think they balance it perfectly with the way each javelin is handling. And the next big news will make fans very happy. There is matchmaking on all the activities, including the end game content. I am especially very happy about this. In Destiny, you have to use many hours just to find a team that will stick with you till the end. And because of this, I haven't played that much raid. But the way Bioware does it, is the best news since Mass Effect 3 was announced. And I don't want to be left out of content, just because I don't have many friends who play Anthem. What do you think about it? That brings me to the next point. No matter which level you or your friends are in, you can join each other. No need to catch up to your friends because you don't play that much. If you are level 25 and join a friend who is level 5, you don't exactly go down a level, but you don't do that much more damage. That is, you don't kill everyone and be invincible. It makes sense. The same is if you are level 5 and join someone who is higher levels above you. You don't go up a level, but you can still fight without dying all the time. And the best of all, Everyone will get loot at their own level, and how great is that? This is something more games in the future can learn from. This is shaping up to be a very good online game, and I can't wait. This was the latest details on Anthem. Thank you for watching, and please like, share, subscribe and hit that bell button to get the latest updates on Anthem. That would help me out a lot. I love you all and be kind to one another. Until next time.